Hello, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I converted my own Ministorum Priest. That's the way. Hello, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking to you, I'm going to be showing you, more importantly, my conversion for a Ministorum Priest, which I did uh, pretty easily. Um, before I begin though, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please get your Cat Chan Fang and hit the subscribe button and destroy the bell button into tiny little pieces so that you never miss an upload. So, yeah, um, so obviously I'm gonna, I'll bring him on now. Um, it was a conversion, I started a long time ago but never finished. Um, just for size comparison, here is two Catachans on either side of him. Um, you can't really see him from there, so what I'll do is, I'll see if I can go down one moment. Hopefully this is a little bit better. Um, but what we'll do is we'll move these guys up to one side and we'll have a quick little look at the guy. So, uh, many of you might realise most of where the parts are from um, just by looking at them, but I will go over it. Uh, the majority of the parts, which includes the book, the um, staff, the arm with the staff, the body, the head, the torso, um, are all from the, um, I think it's flagellants, um, not flatulence, the flagellants from the um, Empire box set they used to get. Got this off a bit site, um, I can't remember which one exactly. <clears throat> the rest of the bits um, is, this is a Lasgun. I can't remember, this, this must be a Catachan one because it's got the little the little metal bits there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So all I did was I painted that red um, to match with the, <clears throat> the clothing. So the eagle-eyed amongst you may notice that his arm is a teeny, teeny bit bigger than the other one. So um, all jokes aside, guys, you know what I'm talking about. Um, principally, he's just holding his arm out. Um, I think from the table table top, top, not the tablecloth, um, it's barely noticeable. Obviously, it's noticeable when you look at it, but principally for a free-ish I say free-ish models in a cheaper model than I would have paid. I can't remember exactly how much it is from Games Workshop from Minister and Priest. Um, but needless to say, I already had the last gun and this kicking about. That's just a conversion I wanted to do. Um, yeah, so principally it's really easy. So all I did was built everything up with this arm. Um, there, This had, I think, like some form of flail on it. Um, so I basically got a book from the kit and just literally just glued it on top. There's no real um, technique that you need to master to do that. That's pretty straightforward. Um, and like everything I ever do, most of the time is uh, is a ginger guy with a ginger beard. Um, just because that's the way I roll. Um, yes, yeah, so I painted him red because generally a priest is most often red. Not always, but majority of the time, minister and priest, yeah, so basically it's a character model. Um, the main reason I built it was, uh, I think it was back in 7th edition, I think, I can't remember what it was, I think, did they make you fearless or did they do something else? I can't remember, they had war hymns, which is a similar rule um, that they've got nowadays. Principally though, nowadays what they'll do is they'll add one to the attacks characteristic of a unit nearby, and obviously Catachans have a strength of four, so generally are better than most guardsmen. So it would actually be useful to have them next to him. I probably will get hold of um, Iron Hand Strachan um, in the long run to um, triple their attacks, um, effectively making them into cheap orc boys relatively, but with better shooting to an extent. Um, but I suppose, um, I kind of liked, I just wanted to convert a model. I do like converting character models, so I think this will fit alongside more often than not the Catachan army. So that's why he's here. I might well maybe convert another one. I might even buy a proper one, who knows, in the long run. Um, but that is why I converted this uh, Ministorm Priest. I, I am still yet to use him in a game, so I'm not entirely sure how he'll work. If he doesn't work very well, then I'll probably maybe just get rid of him, or I'll probably um, make another one if he does any good. Uh, but I think it could be a really useful um, force multiplier, if you will. I 
keep putting my arm in the way, but then it's blocking the light. I've got a massive arm. That's not true. I haven't got a massive arm, but oh, there's a zoom in. I prefer not to go for digital zoom because every time I pan the camera, it tends to um, go a bit weird. Zoom in. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Quality's not great. Sorry, I'm uh, <laughs> experimenting on camera. That's never good, is it? Um, yeah, so, I mean, obviously, if you've got any more, you know, conversion tips for possibly a minister on priest, <clears throat> uses with certain armies even might be good. Um, you know, um, obviously more specifically guard, but if there's any other alternatives like maybe Sisters of Battle or something, um, you know, let me know in the comments down below if you've got any conversion tips as well, you know, on how you would do it, how you've done yours. You can even send me links um, to, in the in the comments down below to um, pictures or whatever, um, where you've done a conversion of the Minister on Priest. Um, be cool to see. I mean, I might even maybe possibly um use this guy sorry it's been weird might use this guy in um the the good golly gosh the um the oh, traitor guard basically renegades and heretics i might use him as a as a as a psyker maybe i mean i could use him as a primary psyker standing as well i mean i did already do a conversion of that um which if you check in my archives you will see um, a conversion of a primary psyche. Um but I think, to be honest, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. It's not it's not overly perfect, you know. I think the big arm does stand out to me because obviously I've seen him. Um, but maybe he's just very vigorous with his uh, hand signals um, in the middle of battle with that arm specifically. Um, that's possibly an explanation. Who knows? Maybe he just lifts weights with that arm only. Um, who really knows? Nowadays, yeah, <laughs> sorry. I think the video has pretty much gone on long enough considering I wasn't meant to make it very long. It was just meant to be like a, a quick show of um, of what I've what I've done, to be honest. Um, let me know if you like the conversion in the comments down below. If you think it's terrible, again, let me know. As I've already said in earlier on, if you um, have any tips, tricks, rules-wise, model-wise, uh, please put them down below as well to help other people um, and help them progress, basically. So, yeah, as ever, thank you very much for watching.